So the first thing that will happen is you will be sent a set of screening questionnaires um, and this will help determine whether it's worthwhile you going through, you know, the entire assessment process. Um, so it just helps to filter out some patients who might not need an ADHD assessment. Once those are filled in, I'll take a look at them and then we could move to the next part of your assessment. So ADHD diagnosis will take quite a long time. Um, it can be up to two hours in the initial interview because we need to go through everything about your psychiatric history from childhood through to the present date and we'll cover you know everything regarding your relationships your work your education family school all of these types of things and so obviously that can take quite a lot of time um, after that initial assessment is conducted we will also conduct some more standardized psychometric testing that will aid with the diagnosis um, the Psychometric tests alone are not enough to diagnose. It's a combination of the history plus these tests, but the diagnostic tests are very useful indicators and can strongly uh, assist, let's say, in diagnosis. It's also really important, if we can, to talk to somebody from your family who knew you when you were small, when you were a child. Um, again, it's because they will have a different assessment and view of your behaviours, your difficulties at that time. So if we can, we'll talk to somebody um, as well. Following this, there will be a discussion around treatment options. If you are determined to have a diagnosis of ADHD, there'll be treatment options that we'll talk about, whether they be pharmaceutical or not. If you decide to go down the pharmaceutical route, then there are some physiological tests that would need to take place firsthand to ensure that the medication is going to be safe for you and also there's some monitoring that is required after you start the medication and we need a, a baseline of your normal sort of pre-treatment um, physiological tests and blood tests to know whether things have changed because of the treatment or not. Um, and then you get followed up after that to just assess how the medication and the intervention is going.